All right, we're back with Brody and we are going to be working on our eyebrows. All right, the one thing that I want you to see is we've got the skull leveled out. The eyebrow just blends right in. There's no differentiation. Now what we've got to do to clean up this eye is I put on a 7F and I'm just going to gently kind of come into the corner. I want this to look natural, but I want it to be cleaned up a little bit. And the 7F leaves me a little bit of goose proof room. If you look, I'm just coming in here and just skimming that out because ultimately what I want is in front of the eyes, I want that beard to, to lay down so that from the side you have one plane here and one plane here. And they should be on the same parallel, which Brody's not. He, his nose tends to turn down a little bit. So I'm not going to do anything on the front blending wise, but I'm going to do everything in front of this eye I can to bring that muzzle down a little bit. And then on the eyebrow itself, I'm going to come here. I'm going to comb it over. I'm going to take my straight shear and just hold it over. And I'm going to come and cut right to the side of the cheek, parallel with the cheek. Then I'm going to come in here, lift, and I'm going to take out the eyelash. Okay, get rid of all that mess there. And then come here and comb forward. And what that's going to do is it's going to start a nice arch and then you can come in here with either a straight or a curve and hit towards the center and that's going to give you a nice eyebrow. Now be careful how much eyebrow you leave because this eyebrow is an extension of the skull and he does not have the longest muzzle. It should be equal parts from the occiput to the inside corner of the eye to the end of the nose and you can see that he is short okay so he's got a nice long skull but his nose doesn't match so if you leave a long eyebrow what's going to happen is you're you're going to mess up your proportion so i'm leaving a little eyebrow not too huge and i'm going to balance it out and the more beard hair you grow the longer the eyebrow is um, he tends to break his off so we can't leave a whole lot but that's how you get a nice eyebrow. All I did after that is took my blenders and came along the top ridge right here and blended that in ever so slightly. So when you look from the side, you got one plane, two planes, and we'll finish that up when we do the muzzle. All right, that is your Scotty eyebrow.